Hey everyone, it's Anna, and today's article is about peel off base coats. And so let's get started. Daniela asks me, Hey Anna, I have been reading a lot of your articles and I'm so impressed with them. I have learned so much. Being new to the nail world and after researching your website, nailcarehq.com, I can't help but wonder one thing. My favorite YouTube vlogger loves using a peel-off base coat. I read your article where you described what happens when you physically chip at your nail polish. Do these effects also happen when you peel off the base coat? If not, then is it less damaging than using acetone both in drying and damaging aspects? I am an absolute fan and my nails thank you a ton. P.S. I love the idea of a peel-off base coat and I have been convinced that Unt is the best brand. I'm not sure if I pronounced that correctly, but uh, that they are the best brand since they claim their glueless formula can to be one of a kind. I can't seem to get it to last long enough though. Any tips? I've found a way for them to last three plus days without chipping, but I can't stop them from popping off in one layer. I know it's water breaking the, pond, the bonds like you teach, but reducing water contact has barely fixed the popping off, and frankly, it's more embarrassing than it sounds when you're in public and they just fall off. Wow. Okay, a lot to address there. So, let's get started. Daniela, this is such a great question. I was not sure the answer, so I asked my mentor, Doug Shoon. He was impressed enough with your question that he will be adding it to his Q&A video membership site called Face to Face with Doug Shoon. And I will include a link to his uh, membership subscription so that you can take a look at that if you'd like. Damage. Where, there are a few topics to cover with your question, so let's start with whether the peel-off base coats are damaging to the nail plate. Here is what Doug says. If people peel it from the eponychium, which is also the cuticle line, to the nail tip, then they would be going against the, quote, grain. So any so-called grain in the nail would run across the width of the nail plate. Keratin fibers inside the nail cells lay across the width of the nail plate. This is why the nail plate typically splits across the width of the plate and not down the length. Clearly the grain doesn't make a difference, at least when it comes to nail surface damage. However, it can matter when it comes to nail splitting. Splitting is usually a result of thin, of over thinning or over filing. People with healthy nail plates may not see damage when these peel off base coats are used according to their directions. However, if the nail plate is already damaged, these peelable nail coatings can worse, worsen existing damage. If the nail plates become dry appearing or small white spots develop on the surface of the plate, then I would recommend that the wearer discontinue use and or reevaluate how they are using these products. These types of base coats are more likely to worsen existing nail surface damage, but it is very common that people ignore directions and do it their own way. Then they blame the product when it doesn't work. This, too, can also be a problem. Wearers will likely notice decreased wear time. In other words, they won't get long-term wear, and these base coats are likely to um, shorten wear time as much as 50%. Often those who use these types of products are people who want to change their nail color often, and doing so can also increase nail damage. Changing nail polish da daily is trouble waiting to happen and should not be done. Doug Shoon nail structure and product chemistry. Okay, there's a whole lot going on right there too. Oh my goodness. So, better than acetone? When Doug wrote his book in 1995, peel off base coats didn't exist. So he only addressed the safety of acetone. I talk about that in a previous article about is acetone far less drying than non-acetone formulas. So then, the new debate now is whether the reversible drying effects of acetone compares to the possible surface damage of using a peel-off base coat. Should you? Using peel-off base coats becomes a personal decision based on the thickness and health of your nails. 
So many people have used peel-off base coats with no issues. As many of my readers know, I use myself as my own science experiment and then share the results with you. Sometimes we just have to test things and see how it works for us personally. This is how I ended up writing my article, Does Picking Nail Polish Damage Nails? I used my mistake of nervously picking up my own polish to hopefully prevent you from making the same mistake. I have amazing up-close photos that you'll see right here. If your nails start peeling more or start to feel fuzzy, then the peel-off base coat is damaging your nail plate. Durability. If you're getting three days of wear with a peel-off base coat, then you're doing great. They are a short-term solution if you want to wear a heavy glitter bomb polish or something that is very difficult to remove with acetone. I think it is reasonable to expect one or two days of wear and anything after that is a cool bonus. In conclusion, I found Doug's response very educational and I love that he keeps teaching me new science about nails. I'm grateful to have become friends with him. Personally, I haven't had a chance to try the commercial peel-off base coats. Part of me is cautious because my nails are so thin. I may get brave someday. I have used our Bliss Kiss Simply Peel Latex Barrier as a peel-off base coat. Since it's latex based, I never expected it to last more than a few hours. I also did not develop Simply Peel to be used as a base coat. I developed it for skin protection from cuticle removal and messy nail art. But it sure was fun testing it all out to see how it worked as a peel off base coat. In the meantime, I'll continue to apply olive oil liberally before using acetone to remove my polish. When we give the acetone more oil to dissolve, then it's less drying to our skin. After removing your polish, apply a little of your favorite jojoba wax ester based nail oil and your nails will feel like acetone never touched them. For me, the big takeaway is that if you are using a peel off base coat, you want to peel it off from side to side, not cuticle line to tip. This technique will help reduce the potential damage of peeling off the polish. Hey, it's Anna. I've written over 70 nail care articles that you can find at nailcarehq.com. And if you're looking for products that will help you have longer, stronger nails, visit myblisskiss.com. Be sure to push the subscribe button and turn on notifications to get alerted when I publish more videos. This is Anna, signing off and sending you bliss.